What's up? Welcome back to the shop. Been a little slow down here last couple weeks, just been testing. So, first thing I tested was this Gen's Ace battery, 7500. And I was so impressed with it, I built a car around it. But it was in Hyde, which is five pounds. This car is a minimum weight car. It weighs 4.56 pounds. And it's already been on its second time out. It's on a Trackmate system in full prep, so you guys know. Um, 140 flat at 97. So, testing that and being very happy. Part of the major reason why the car is a half pound lighter than my other car, which is 4.9 pounds, is this battery. It's only 360 grams. And obviously, I got all the lightweight parts I could find on the hardware on every piece. I went half the length of what the spec was for the kit. And just little things like that. Um, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I cleaned up all the wires. Let me show you on the V1 that I use for dry tying on. You guys that are new and old G's will know. This is the one I bought about a year and a half ago, and that's how it used to look. But I uh, bought this little crimp kit here and uh, spent a little time. The Lec Hawk, it's got everything you need to shorten up servo wires and everything else. So I took it from this to looking like this. It's just everything is short right to the point. The other car, I went a little bit too far. So after that testing and very happy way the car went, I wanted to try the Yokomo ESC. So I did. I wired it up, soldered it together myself, practiced on it, got real good at it, soldering it. So as you can see, I redid all my ESCs. Again, they used to look like this. And um, very happy with the way they all came out. So as far as this went, it's a good ESC. It lasted for me four passes. Now remember, this is full prep. Going, it went a 145. 147 and then it popped the first pass was just a shake and bake pass to get down he went like a 185 but it went about three inches out and just shut off no smoke no fire no nothing so using this to hone my solder skills and everything i went to town on my r1s because i'll say this would be good for dry tire and maybe like you know 160s but trying to get 140s out of it consistently it's gonna bite you in the butt. So, after that, I was very happy with the way that came out. I was just putting my shit back together, like I said. Let me show you the other car here. I don't know how it's gonna work. I, let me get it in the light. Oh. So this is the first V2 car. This is hot. Shout out to TSG. I mean, for 20 bucks, you get all that. The only thing I'm a little bit leery about, but he said he had no issues, Tommy, was with the Myco little tiny switch. But uh, I really cleaned this one up. I mean, it's all attached to the ESC. Came out really, really good. But if it gets hot, I'm going to have to buy a new Wi-Fi because I made it so short that I can't get it off of here. I'll put it over here like the other car. But if it doesn't, I'm just trying, this is the heavy car, I got it under five pounds by redoing all them wires. Like I said, I uh, talked to Tommy and I'm hoping, I asked him if he would make me a 3.5 plate for these Apollos, Patriots, excuse me, Patriots. Um, it's really what's holding these car back from going to the next level, it's just way too much flex. That's why a year ago I showed you guys the wheelie bars, I mean this is how they came. And I know I saw Max Feeler stand his shit straight up at the RC Durell a year ago and I was like, gotta get this flex out. Now the chassis just has too much flex. So maybe he will, maybe he won't. I hope he does. It'll be a game changer for this Patriot chassis. I hope you all been doing good. Hanging in there with the heat. Looks like Okeechobee may be having a race this weekend. So uh, go to the website, check them guys out, see what's going on. All depends on weather. See everybody up there. Y'all have a great week and an awesome weekend.